I'm sorry. I hope you had a good break. Yeah. But um, how did it feel getting out there today, getting things started with the training camp? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, we came back really healthy, and the excitement is still there. You know, everybody's ready to work, so we came back really good. And what is after winning an MLS Cup? What is your personal goal and your goal for the team going into this preseason? For me, um, we had a good year um, last year, and nothing's going to change this year. We're just going to keep on building on what we we stopped, and um, the team is ready to, you know, get ourselves ready, go to the new <coughs> season, and get ourselves fit and train well and prepare well for the season coming. Because we know that there's going to be a lot of games, and we are prepared for it. And now, where do you feel like you've grown the most from? the beginning of preseason last year to this season and what has this that journey been for you? I think we've grown as a team, you know. Um, the, the relationship for everyone here is really strong and we we kind of know each other what everybody wants and then we have the same goal, one goal and we are all looking forward to that. And <coughs> when you have a goal in front of you, everybody's more focused and you know, um, try to work hard to reach that goal and that has been something that we've been looking up to all the time. And then keeping us going. And one last thing is you mentioned you guys have a long season ahead of you. Do you think the whole team as the team as a whole is gonna be perceived differently now that you have that MLS Cup under your belt? You guys kinda of prided yourselves on being kind of viewed as underdogs last season. So how does that do you think it's gonna change the way teams look at you? For us we we believe that um, we did a great job last year and for us good enough is not good enough. You know, we want more. We want more for ourselves, we want more for the club and then of course the history for the club as well. So we we're not gonna stop. We we're still gonna look for more and we believe in our boys that um if we get our principle right and, and work hard towards our goal, we're gonna achieve everything that we wanna achieve this year. Thank you. What'd you do this off season? Um I went to Ghana, uh stayed with my family because the whole year I've been seeing them and then yeah. for me it was a good time for me to spend some time with them. Do you come back feeling recharged, batteries recharged? I know it's a short off season, but does it feel like you at least got some time off? Yeah, you know, um, see the family, refresh your mind and come back fresh and forget a little bit about soccer when you go home, you know, focus on the family and then enjoy with them and come back and now it's time to wake. And I think it's always easy this time of year, coming off a championship, to say all the right things, right? How do you guys act that out going, you know, through preseason going forward? I don't think it's it's been quite a while since the teams repeated in MLS. Um, you know, what what does it take to kind of get over that hump of coming off of a championship and trying to do it again? I think we, um, the boys, we are humble, you know. <laughs> and then when I say we are humble, we are humble and we are ready to learn. We know that there's a lot of mistakes, games. You know, we learn each and every game. And being humble means we are ready to work, work hard and, and follow our philosophy with the, with the coaches and the staff, what they want us to do and also bring our individual um, qualities as well to the pitch. So we, we, we are ready, we, we just came here excited and, and ready to work. I'm going to ask you to not be humble for a second. Uh, how many times have you watched your goal from, from the last cup? <laughs> a lot of times, many times <laughs> because I got tagged by so many friends. Um, some of my teammates back in Europe, you know, and of course my country as well. So I watch it many, many times. Something you'll remember forever, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty good. So coming into this new season, you got a couple new faces. Uh, what is it? How are you helping with integrating them in with Nazi system? With Nazi system? Yeah. Um, Last year we also had new faces as well, and then we were able to, uh, they were able to adapt really well. And for us, getting new faces this year too, I think it's going to be the same thing. We are ready to help them as well, and of course, our staff is going to do the, the job, the maximum job to help them to get um, them to the style of our play. And for me, it's not going to change a lot because we still have most of our players that we played last year here, and the new ones we just have to adapt and. We are really good players, good guys as well. And for us, that's the most important thing to be good in the locker room, have a good relationship with everyone. And then when you do that, the, the goal is to focus on one thing. And I think they are great guys and they're going to help us a lot as well. I asked Coach Nasa this Have you been able to sit down and actually watch the game as a fan of the game? Or, I 
as a player seeing what you could have done better or what you can do better coming into the new season? Um, it's always been, as a player, you always have to do better every game. So for me, I've been able to watch a lot of my games um, last year and to know that these are the things that I didn't do well and that I have to improve. And I think the coaches, uh, the staff, they've also seen it. And then of, of course, we all got to work together and, and, uh, and improve on things that we couldn't do well last year. And then of course, I don't do what we can do better as well. So we all notice that and we're going to work for it. Do you have any personal goals set up for this year as far as like goals, assists? Um, for me, that's going to come naturally, you know. Um, as a player, it's when you get yourself into that position, the only thing you have to do is take your chances. And for goals, yeah, it's going to come natural. It's going to have to come and assess as well. But the, more, the main focus is uh, to achieve what the team goal is, you know. So we're going to go together and achieve our goal. And then individual things it just come natural. If you have to look back at the attitude and the mentality at the start of last season, coming into this season now having a year underneath Nazi, what would you say the difference is? It's not gonna be a big difference. It's like it's almost the same guys here now. And then um, I think the new guys who are coming in now they know what we did last year and they know that if we show them our attitude about we'll get on the page and work out to achieve our goal, I think for two months they're also going to adapt and they're gonna see that. So the coach like to win, everybody likes to win and for us it has been our mentality since day one, and everybody who comes in also want to win, compete their way. And that's what we're going to do. We compete in training, and then in the games, we compete as well to get a win. Having a goal like you did in the MLS Cup, how is um, that big of a stage and against a very talented team? How much confidence does that give you? I know like you, you try to stay humble and stuff, but I'm guessing it has to increase your confidence going into this season, seeing what you can do. Yeah, uh, for me personally, it does increase my confidence a lot. But for me, it's all about the team, you know. So if I can add something to the team to get a win like that, for me, it's amazing. Um, I'm still going to be the same person, you know. I'm still going to play the way I play, um, the way I know. And then uh, I'm still going to learn the things that I haven't um, done well. I'm going to learn from that and then try to uh, um, add that to my game, but a lot hasn't changed for me. I'm just gonna be the same person, the same player, you know, try to improve, do better, of course. And then uh, for me, my teammates are there as always, and we are ready to win together. So. Thank you. Sorry for keeping you here. <laughs>